Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paul and today we're going to review Serafina and the Black Cloak by Robert Beatty. This is a middle grade novel. It's a fantasy, mystery, and historical fiction all kind of rolled up into one. So let's take a look at the book card. A middle grade fantasy about a young girl named Serafina who lives secretly at the Biltmore estate until other children start to go missing. A blend of mystery, historical fiction, and fantasy. I feel the suggested ages for this is between like eight and nine. My favorite quote from this was, our character isn't defined by the battles we win or lose, but by the battles we dare to fight. Uh, what I loved about this story was that it's a story about a misfit child finding her place in the world. I always enjoy stories of young children figuring out who they are, uh, figuring out their identity, and just kind of exploring the world. The setting of the Biltmore Estate is amazing. I would love to visit the Biltmore Estate down in North Carolina because it looks beautiful. Her ability to sneak around is really cool so she can sneak around really silently and kind of be unseen uh, she's just really good at that and she's a precocious little girl uh, she's smart for her age and she just kind of does what she wants um, what I didn't like about this was that uh, because it's for children of a younger age the mystery is fairly obvious and I think it's even obvious for kids of that age Serafina cares a lot of what Brayden thinks of her, so a girl that's very much about, you know, her identity and uh, herself and like girl power kind of thing. She really cares a lot about what a boy thinks of her, but I guess you can't really get away from that in a lot of middle grade books or young adult books. Um, this could have been a lot more diverse. She herself could have been a black character and it would have, would have worked a lot better. And also, the bad guy in this story just wasn't that interesting. It could have been so much more interesting and deeper. Uh, the character, the heart and mind, the plot, and the world building, I gave three stars to. And the writing, I gave a two star to. For an overall rating of three stars. If you liked this book or you want to check out books that are like this, I would check out Small Spaces by Catherine Arden, uh, The Crooked Sixpence by Jennifer Bell, and um, The Key to Extraordinary by Natalie Lloyd. Okay? Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.